Now that we've had a chance to allow the glue to set up overnight, uh, you can see how the uh, rubber cement has set in there. It's holding it. It's nice and uh, solid, but it still has a little bit of give to it. And uh, the uh, super glue and the baking soda you can see is real solid down here. And so the piece is now in a condition to where we can put it in with confidence. Now, just a comment, um, when we uh, bought this new holder, the uh, person had refurbed it, but hadn't put a new screen in. And they had used epoxy resin to glue this back in. And epoxy resin, um, normal epoxy, gray, re uh, gray epoxy resin, hardens. And the way we got that loose was we just cracked it. And that's not what you want in a situation like this where things are going to give. So that's why we went with something that's a little more forgiving, uh, but still hardens up fairly well. Um, the other thing is to remember about epoxy is it's got to have a gap. A number of people will take and mix up a nice batch of epoxy, put it on two pieces and smash the two pieces together tight and squeeze all that epoxy out and it holds, but it's not strong. Because epoxy has to have a little bit of a gap uh, in order to work. So a lot of people by trial and error not realizing that have found out that they have to build up a bunch of epoxy on the outside edges in order to get their strength in. So you got to think a little bit about the glue you're using and what the purpose is and what you need to do to make sure that glue will hold properly. So just kind of a, uh, a side note, uh, back in the day, I used to uh, refurb uh, parts for Excella Semiconductor. And one of the parts we refurbed was uh, a high voltage, uh, high amperage uh, part. I won't go into any more than that. And we'd have to take it apart. When we put it back together again, we used a very special epoxy that was very rubberized. And that would have worked very well in something like this, but you know, there's no need for that kind of an expense. But we had to have that gap because when we put the parts together, you didn't want them to smash together because it would lose a lot of the strength. So what we did was we bought uh, little tiny uh, uh, glass beads, uh, you know, maybe uh, uh, five thousandths, ten thousandths glass beads. And we'd mix that into the epoxy, and then we'd put the pieces together. Those glass beads would keep that separation so as that the epoxy would hold. So, you know, they, you got to think about these things as you put those together. Just another side note uh, as while we're talking about automotive. I don't know if you've re uh, realized when you go down the street, sometimes the uh, white uh, stripes and the yellow stripes in the street really shine at night. And sometimes you can't hardly see them, but sometimes they just seem to leap out at you. Well, believe it or not, the reason that occurs is because they put those glass, same glass beads that we use, they put that into the paint. And they put a little bit larger ones than what we were using, but they put it in the paint. And then when your headlights hit that, those uh, beads, it reflects back at you and you can see those really, really nicely. So just kind of a, an automotive thing for being out on the road, just to be aware of that when you see that, realize that what you've seen is a bunch of glass beads mixed in the paint. Here we are back on the uh, next day after we've had a chance to let the super glue dry on the uh, part we were just looking at. It turned out, well, I mentioned uh, yesterday that we weren't going to show about the paper because we didn't need to. Well, as we got looking at this particular part, which we need to put in, it turns out that it had cracked right across here. So it turns out we did need to do the paper trick. So again, just briefly, just uh, take and uh, uh, cut all your pieces of paper you're going to use. Uh, I happen to use four on this one. Uh, you can use fewer or more depending upon what you're trying to do. Just put a bunch of super glue down there, make sure you get it covered, put the paper in, tap it in there so that the glue 
uh, goes into the paper, put another layer of super glue on, add your next paper, and so on to fill that out. Now, um, after you get, let it harden, you need to trim things up, and it'll trim up nicely. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, trim up this uh, excess paper off of here. Notice how it trims off real nicely and easily. So we took a few minutes and we dremeled out the uh, slot. Um, you want to be cautious about just trying to force it with a uh, cutter. You just don't want to break the plastic again. So we, I, I like using dremels. You can use a drill, but drills are a little big and awkward. Dremel, you can have a fine uh, control. So now we've got it slotted out so it'll uh, work on the uh, door again and we have the slot so we can adjust it to the right spot. All right, now that we've repaired and uh, the tab and we've got our slot cut, it's time to put this back in place. Uh, you'll notice that we've uh, started putting the uh, vapor barrier back in place here. Uh, the easiest way to do that is you want to open this up just a little bit and then you can just kind of just slide that right there in place and then you've got your two screws so you've got one that goes right here okay and then put the uh, other screw in Just kind of, again, give yourself some room because this will wiggle and you don't want to over tighten and, and push something where you don't need it. Once you get them uh, where you want them uh, tightened up, uh, again, be gentle on your uh, torque on these and then just make sure that you've got it to where it'll run up and down. Uh, it should run up and hook onto your clips and easily run right back down where it needs to be. So that pretty well takes care of that. Uh, again, make sure you get it in the right direction and you get your uh, screws set so you adjust your height wherever you need that. All right, so we've now got the uh, door panel back in place. It took a little bit of effort and some patience uh, to make sure you get all the clips uh, in place and then to work your way around to make sure you line up all of the little uh, plastic clips into the holes because they don't tend to self-align. You have to move them a little bit. Um, you may find it's helpful in uh, putting the door back on if you kind of get this out of the way. Uh, we actually put it up out of the way and rolled down the window so we could get at the uh, clips up on this side um, and made that made that a little easier. All right, so the last thing we've got is to put it in the uh, small shade screen. So just kind of get it in, get it lined up, and it should just go ahead and snap in place. Oops, there it goes. So it should just snap in place. It doesn't go in real hard. And now we have our door all back together again.